Hello there and welcome back. So this time we are returning to Noble Fates actually and the reason for that is well it's pretty similar to the style of Going Medieval which is a series that quite a few of you including myself really loved. I loved the game mechanics and how everything worked out in there. Unfortunately it came to an end since we kind of capped out on, on what we can accomplish and do in there. So, so yeah, I thought maybe we'll put a pause on going medieval. And whilst we've been doing quite a bit of Timberborn, it um, I, I picked this game up again because I noticed there's been quite a few few updates. They have updated uh, some mechanics such as the tavern system. We also have the bandits, and the newest one, which just came out recently, is the marriages, uh, which brings us the elven race and quite a quite a few smaller uh, improvements as well. So even though the series was quite a short one last time we played it, but it was still an early access game, so, well, it, it, it still is right now as well. But it will be cool to do another run in this, because some of the updates that I noticed the game had, I did a little practice playthrough as well, and uh, I, th I think we're ready to try out a bit of a, a bit of an interesting series with, uh, with some of the mechanics that the game now has. And I was thinking, well, why don't we build quite a lovely paradise since there's going to be lots of travelers that come through our kingdom and we hopefully are somewhere in the in the middle and uh, in order for this to work i've selected the colonists that are all they have to be evil to to run this lovely friendly uh, paradise so yeah i think our king is going to be this person here so we get the read of uh, avli unfortunately so egret We'll, we'll choose him and we'll go through a quick, quick setup for them as well. Alright, and here we go. We're pretty much into the game. Just a couple of uh, more things. Let me see. Guided experience. No, we do not need that. Gonna have a quick look at the map as well. And there is a beautiful lake here. Unfortunately, not too many hills. But that's okay. It definitely is a bit of a paradise if we can have this lake right next to our kingdom. So I think what we shall do actually, we shall build our temporary uh, establishment right about here. So in the future, once we have everything we need, we can start constructing our paradise for all the visitors in the entire kingdom. Yeah, so that's what we'll do now. If we look at, okay, so we are positioned a little bit well, kind of central, I suppose. That's not a bad location at all. Then I don't think we have to go through through the UI too much. I mean, it is pretty straightforward. I guess once we get more into this game, uh, every all these little buttons will make more sense. So don't worry too much. Um, the schedule, we're just going to leave them to whatever they want right now. The jumps, let me just fix this up real quick. We are not going to go with the autonomous one. Let's do priorities. All right, there we go. Everything is set and ready to go. So let's keep it pretty pretty simple. We'll um, have to mark a few day, uh, trees to be cleared up. Maybe a couple of logs. Oh, some of them are pretty far, actually. So let's try and use a slightly smaller area. Okay, off you go. Perhaps start building if you can and we'll do a simple guess what do we need maybe yeah just a few rooms right about there and we are also gonna need definitely gonna need some walls as well so with the tavern update what we can actually do we can start making a bit of money out of everyone that visits our kingdom and that's uh, that's definitely gonna be very helpful especially if we can't do too much uh, farming, so what we can do is uh, give them some rooms to stay at. They'll uh, use our accommodation. We'll get some money in return, and then that money we can uh, trade and buy some food. If we if we struggle with that, of course. Uh, I'm just thinking when the winter season comes in. Oh, it's kind of tricky to get those right angles. There we go. And no, it's not working out, is it? I think we almost had it. Uh, yeah, so when the winter season's here, it can be a little bit tricky, but we'll try and prepare as good as we can. Now, these trees, you can all go. You're kind of in our way. Do you know what? We'll put it three times the speed. So, whilst we're waiting for the construction... Uh, no, let's... Uh, I think we need to put the beds down first. 
Right, so we do one here, one there, and a third one here. The last one can be perhaps for storage. And for now, they can stay outside. It's not going to be too bad if they stay outside for just a, just a day or two. Right, so let's go through UI whilst they are constructing things. So at the top here, we have everything that belongs to us that's in our kingdom. And little reminder of what's, what's recently happened as well. So kind of like events in a way. This it is, pretty straightforward, everyone that's in our map. And these would be the friendlies or neutral people to our kingdom. It doesn't really give us a list of the enemies that are raiding us or, or, the, or the bandits. Then we have the animals. Oh, it seems like we're unlucky this time. There's quite a few of them around. So we will definitely tame a few cows. Because then we can get some milk and that's going to help us make some uh, nicer meals in the future. It's a... Uh, Another ingredient we can use for sure. Then learning. Learning is pretty fun in this game. Very different from uh, the other games that I have played. And there we go. So essentially how it works is once they reach a certain level, it will unlock different items. So all the way to the left, it's going to tell us, oh dear, yeah, the level they're at. And if we use this as an example, the structures right now, we can already do wooden floors. And that is thanks to Cap, is it? Do we have someone called Cap? Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. And then once uh, Cap reaches, let's say, level 2, he can start learning wooden walls. Now, I think we actually can already, because he might be level 2, but we haven't learned it uh, just yet. And the way they learn things is we'll put a, put a blue, blueprint down, and uh, they physically have to go to that item and start learning, so it will take some time whilst they're trying to figure out what we want them to build. Okay, now we are making some beds as well. I believe we have some straw already around there, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, it would be pretty smart to start putting down some farms right off the bat. So let's do one over here and maybe another one kind of there. We'll have to choose what we... Oh, there's now flowers here. Right, so that must have been added with the marriages update because with the marriages they now well what's cool is they finally have more interesting faces they've got ears we've got a new race the elves if i remember correctly they they're pretty cool they live l way longer i think it was about twice as long as everyone else but they learn much slower so, yeah, I was thinking of doing this playthrough with the elves, but it was very difficult to find evil elves. Uh, I think there was a couple, but orc seems to be much easier to re-roll and get the colonists that we wanted. And yeah, with the flowers and the new, new mechanics, so now they want to have relationships and it actually tells us uh, whether they're interested in females or males. And flowers is something we can grow and gift it to your, you know, Rushes essentially. Uh, so we're not going to focus on that mechanic too much just yet. I mean, we first have to figure out our paradise. Uh, what else can we put in here? What level do you have to be? Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll leave it at... Okay, never mind. We'll do grapes. Yep, let's do that. As soon as we get some grapes, I think we have some grape seeds. No, these are flower seeds. Okay, no worries. Now, coming back to this building, crafting is pretty important in this game, and we actually do have some uh, quite, a, quite a good team together already. The next step will be to create a crafting room here, but whilst we plan that out, why don't we start already putting some beds and places for our tavern? I think they can probably live right next to us. Yep, let's put these not very sturdy or good looking walls and we'll do exactly the same thing as we have for our bedrooms already. I think on this side, what we might try and start doing is maybe some better beds. And yeah, let's put them in these corners. If they have a nice, uh, nice and high quality, then we can assign these rooms to our colonists in instead. Okay, so everyone crack on. We'll put it on four times the speed so we can get things built pretty quickly. 
And with the upstairs, what I was thinking, well, yeah, I think we're going to go with the boxy sort of style because it will definitely not be a permanent solution. And we'll very quickly transition, I imagine, hopefully by episode three, if not two, we will start building things in here. We just have to figure out the layout. I have a kind of a plan how we have a, this beautiful area with um, flower beds, some nature, some trees growing. We have the tavern. We have the kind of like a restaurant for them as well. And then everything else will be on the ground. So it's kind of similar in some ways what we had in going medieval, but it's going to be very different. So the reason why everyone kind of had to be evil is just to make sure that they're if we take baby dragon for example we needed them to be uh, evil because their was it their steam yeah we want to keep their esteem high so we might have some minions that shall be locked away on the ground and doing lots of jumps for us and the only people that don't take too much damage on their steam are the ones that are well have the evil alignment but all right so the first night is here we'll try and power through as much as we can has anyone learned the beds already no we have not what's missing insufficient wood but we are chopping down even more trees we'll definitely have enough resources now going upstairs we will definitely need some better oh we can already level up that is fantastic now, what we should probably figure out, how do we do the stair system? Hmm. Maybe we keep it simple. Let's say, go up from here. And that could be the entrance. Oh, actually, wait a second. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's, uh, let's rotate it just a little bit more. We shall put the stairs just over here. And they will definitely need a bit of flooring here as well. Okay, so that's good. And the same, the box shall continue is this good enough should be we don't need this wall there shall be a door instead okay uh no these are walls aren't they yeah we need doors okay right about there and this is the space that we will be using for crafting so yeah so let's uh, level up our our people over here we have cap at level oh three now and mining, logging, crafting, farming, ranching. Ooh, quite a few levels for him, which is fantastic. And Michael, oh, only building and foraging. Okay, but that's okay. Michael seems to be already learning the ramps for us. And then I'm not sure if we want to break it. Uh, we could partition it. Maybe we do it just over here so we don't have to build another set of stairs. And what do we need? We need maybe maybe one of those ones. Okay. Now, for the roof, we might do a proper roof. But for now, until everything gets built, I think we're fine. So, what we shall need, however, is a bit of a crafting station. And this seems to be a pretty good location. So, we start by building... Let's do two right about there. And it would be lovely if we could give them a bit of a campfire, actually, as well. So let's go to heat. We've got the fire pit, and it is very close to the house, but I believe we should be able to move it later. So we'll skip the night. We'll be back as soon as they wake up, and then we shall carry on with the construction of this area. All right, here we go. Another day has begun, and we've got a few visitors already. So if we go into this tab, yep, we've got the Snuggy Wanderers and the Court Wanderers as well. Okay, so as soon as we get a few beds done, I think Cap is almost learned them. Yes, just a very little bit left. And what we shall do is, once these beds are done, actually I probably want you to do the ramp first, so we could start putting things... Oh. All right, I no longer feel safe here. Oh no, someone's already uh, 
Uh, okay, so that's a new mechanic. I'm not ready yet. Maybe we do need to start putting some flowers down as well so they can gift each other and improve their relationships. I was hoping to avoid their social interactions too much because when I was doing a quick de uh, test playthrough before recording this one, we didn't really have to do too much of, you know, all this talking and making sure that they all like each other but that's fine that's okay it is part of this game that's what makes it a little bit stand out from the rest so what are these four petal seeds that we have oh okay here we go we'll plant a few and hopefully let's see if we go into a steam <laughs> cap seems to be oh he prefers large kingdoms okay Let's see if we can avoid the... Oh no, we do have to make a decision. Oh dear. Improve Cap's opinion of Michael or remove. Okay, so... Not ready yet. We cannot avoid this. I'm glad I checked because... Yeah. We don't have flowers. Right, so what can I do? They can't really do anything. Oh dear. That's not a good start. That's not the start I imagined. Uh, can we can we trade please? Do you have any flowers? We'll buy all the flowers you have. They have no flowers at all, uh, but we'll buy the corn. Okay, got a little bit of money, but not too much. So maybe what about you? Please give us something. No, they don't have anything at all. Grape seeds, grapes. Okay, maybe we can do some grape seeds as well. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think we might be safe. Let's see, Cap, if Michael goes to Cap, let's see. Okay, give him some flowers. Where is Michael? Uh, did you give him some flowers? Uh, okay, now he's going. He's going flowers. Uh, are you happy now? Ooh, I think we've managed to fix this. Oh, what a what a relief. Okay, great. That means, Michael, have you built those beds? Yes, it... No. No. Okay. Maybe it's best if we check who's really good at building. That's, uh, yeah, Michael and Baby Dragon. So, Baby Dragon, what are you doing? You're building some walls. So, who's doing the beds? Cap, thank you. Ben, right, right, right. You won't regret it. Fine. Great. All right, so Cap is taking a quick uh, food break, it seems. Please have those rooms done. It, it would be amazing. Now, can you... Oh, uh, you can't learn because your level is not high enough. Okay. Uh, build. Let's give them a slightly higher priority. Maybe we can get this done a bit quicker. Now, I believe Cap was almost done. Yes, he was almost done. Okay, so we'll... Check the full rent box over here. And that means... Alright, Slop has already moved in. And how much are we earning? So, we are getting... Uh, didn't quite tell us which room was. Oh, it was this one. Right, so we get three coins per day. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's definitely going to build up over the next few episodes that we uh, will go through. So, two bedrooms are done. I think we'll keep... Yeah, they have a slightly higher prestige, so that's great. They are very small rooms, though. So what we could do is maybe give it to Master Baby Dragon. And this could be for Cap. Okay, so you can have one as well. And the last one, that was the wrong button. The last one will be... It happened twice in a row. Okay, the top one, there we go. Uh, Michael, you shall get this one, which means you can now be also for rent. And did any of you know? Alright, so obviously they don't have enough money. But that's okay. That's fine. Let's get this uh, built. It would be also lovely if you get their ramp done. And then once that is done, we will create a bit of a stockpile here. And for that one, no corpses. We can put food. And you know what? Let's put everything else here. And the roof. Oh, I think it's out of their range. So yeah... It seems Cap is learning the ramps now, so we we shall be fine. Now, Baby Dragon can level up, so let's do that real quick as well. Should be level 2. We got Melee, Cleaning, Farming, Ranching and Hauling. Okay, not too bad. 
Now it will be great to see who was our rancher. So that is baby dragon. Right. If we grab a couple of those cows and we'll schedule them in to be tamed. Michael, wow, okay, another level already. There we go, melee, nursing, building and farming. It seems we are approaching the night again. The ramp is fortunately done. And now all the visitors hopefully will start helping us out a little bit by building all the stuff that we have outside. They'll uh, help us bring it indoors. Now, has anyone... No, we don't have the roofs yet. Okay, that's all right. Anyways, another important thing in this game is the prestige over here. And the ambition eh, for Baby Dragon, it seems to be seven, which is great. It's much lower than what their actual prestige is, so we don't have to worry about him just now. Same for Cap, and Michael is okay as well. Now, Master Baby Dragon seems to want a one prestige wall light source. So from time to time, they will have some little things that they would like to have that will improve their life around here. So for that, let's see if we can get the wall light source. And we'll go to the right level, if I'm not mistaken. That's where Baby Dragon lives, so we'll stick one of them there. All right, so let's skip the night again. We'll be back in the morning and we'll start to improve our food situation as well. All right, and there we go. So right now, since we are in spring, we should have some octoberries growing for us as well. It might be easier if we zoom out a little bit, highlight as many berry berries as we can, and yeah, we'll uh, try and gather up quite a, quite a few ones. Now, farms seem to be going, well, not a lot of corn growing just yet, but I think we'll be fine. Let's try and create the, another farm right next to this one. And this is the grapes. So maybe here, let's see what other food options we do have. So maybe meal beans. It seems Cap and Michael are quite happy about that one. Perhaps we can do one more because we also have the pumpkins that we could grow around this area so we'll set it to yeah let's do pumpkins and i've just noticed that we can do one more and set this to octoberries okay beautiful i don't think food is going to be an issue it says two years right now but you know it's uh yeah there's some uh, deer around here as well that we can you know hunt and same with the boars it seems the roof cannot be finished because we don't have enough straw but there should be plenty around. Oh, that's way too many. Yep, don't want to overload our stockpiles. And here we go. Finally, someone that wants to raid us. Okay, where are they? Right about there. So we shall ask everyone to uh, join in. What's really cool about this game is if you press C on the keyboard... Uh, holding down the shift, now we are controlling Baby Dragon. So it's kind of like a first person, turns into a first person game. And uh, we're just gonna go and help them out right about here. Get a couple of hits in, here we go. And yeah, sadly, I was hoping we can just knock him out and uh, and maybe turn him into into our minion, but it, he's, he's done. Uh, since he is an orc, we could... Uh, no one really likes the raw orc. What about cooked orc? Okay, baby dragon seems to like cooked orc. So why don't we... Why don't we do that? Let's, uh... Bring you in. Oh, it might be much easier if we set a stockpile. Let's say right about here. And this is just gonna be for corpses. So, everyone, please store him right about there. Let's hide the roofs. And this shall be our area where we butcher things. Okay, we'll spin it around right about there. And we should probably give them a bit of a priority as well. I know they're doing other things, but we definitely need the crafting table and the butcher table. We don't have the fire pit because of stones. Right. Fortunately, there are a few around here. So how about, yeah, just uh, harvest as many as you can. Okay. There you go. Now, how many of them? Okay, still just slop staying in our area. 
Uh, what can we do? Let us butcher. Is this table done? Got the 12 wood in, but no one's really built it yet. Okay. Master Baby Dragon wants one. But I believe we do have... What prestige do you have? That is definitely one, so why... Oh, for some reason it has not satisfied that need. Even though that's his room. Maybe we'll try and do another one. Hopefully we'll get a slightly higher quality. Who knows? And yeah, let's skip the night. We'll be back in the morning. And here we go. It seems overnight Baby Dragon has leveled up. So let's uh, check this out real quick. He is now level 4. And we got melee, mining, building, cleaning, ranching and the hauling cap. What about you, buddy? Did you get a few more? Alright, so Cap is already at level 5 and we get to choose an ability for him. Uh, I think I would like to go with something that's passive. But that's just cleaning. Is Cap a builder? Or building is 4? Okay. But it's an active ability which is kind of... Hmm... Yeah, let's do the melee. That's definitely gonna be handy when we get raided again. Right, so we got some more visitors. That's the Kurt ones. No, oh, they are elves. Okay, okay, just one person though. Let's see what you can trade with us. We don't have a lot of money, only six coins left. So I really hope he's gonna use some of our facilities. I know there aren't a lot. And good prices, maybe some... Oh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do all the corn. Uh, what else do we need? Corn seeds, yeah, a bit more pricier, but not too expensive. I think that's probably all we can go with. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of things just yet. It seems our invader was already, yeah, harvested. Let's put it that way. Now, we shall turn the orc skin, maybe some of it, into, let's see, workstations, resources, and tannery. So let's, uh, yeah, let's set it up over here uh, so we can start making some better equipment. Now, Baby Dragon still seems to be wanting some light sources. What is going on? Can we build this? Okay, we'll leave it over there. Now, it seems the roof is almost done, but we're still missing a little bit of grass, so I've asked them, hey, can you go and cut some more grass down and maybe a bit more from here as well? And uh, once the roof is done, everything should be lovely, lovely days. Right, so I believe that's a pretty good start for our village. We've got our living space, we've got the storage just done, a bit of crafting that we can set up as well. And most importantly, we already have some people that will be staying with us and uh, generating us some income. Farms are set as well, even though we're not growing too much just yet. Baby Dragon is looking after all this area. So yeah, things are looking good. We've got the basics in place. And uh, what we shall do in the next one is most likely start figuring out the design that we want to put in this place. It would be really cool if we can start building some of the housing on the lake as well and giving them some more like a, maybe maybe like some villas over here. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be the next episode. We'll think about it. We'll plan it out and maybe even start constructing things. So I hope it's going to be a fun little series that we that we try again, essentially. And um, I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.